Welcome back to the channel guys, and this week we are going to be learning how to easily speed paint parliamentarian musketeers with ease to achieve a stunning result that will impress your friends and fellow hobbyists. So I finally received the Warlord game miniatures, and to be honest, I'm very impressed with them. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on with them, so let's jump straight into it. So I'm going for the sort of stereotypical uh, tan colour. I started with the trousers dark brown, uh, which was chocolate brown. Um, I know historically there are lots and lots of different colours on both sides within the Civil War, um, but again I just kind of like the uniformity of having ease of telling which side is which. Uh, so that's why I've gone for this colour scheme. Next I've gone for leather brown, which is from Game Colour, for the tunics. And again, my sort of technique for putting the, the foundation layer on is don't worry about it, just slap it on. Um, as we do the follow up layers and put the washes on, that's when we neaten up and tidy up. But to start with, just get the paint on the miniature as quickly as possible. I mean, here I'm just doing one strip or one base's worth of troops just to show them off. Um, but if I were doing the, the army, I would have multiples all lined up to do it quickly. Again, if you wish to take your time, you could pick out different uniform, well, different coloured uniforms for each of the individual people on there because it was a real mishmash um, historically. But again, as I said, I like that uniformity. Uh, for the footwear, I've just gone for game colour black. Um, it comes out with a slight shine to it. It's not a full gloss; it's just a slight shine. So for leather, uh, I think it kind of goes quite nicely. And again, just slap it on. You could also use the black for potentially ammunition pouches, um, leather belts and things on their person. Uh, entirely up to you. Also, some of the headdresses um, or hats. Yeah, since I've been doing these, I've been quite interested in really reading into the Civil War. Um, but I came across the film Cromwell and started watching that a little while ago. Uh, metal, the metal work on them, so your rifles, etc., or muskets, I should say. Uh, it's just game colour silver. <coughs> and then anything else which you see on the miniature, which you think should be metal work, um, just touch it up at this stage. It'll come out a bit bright, but we'll dull that down in a later step. Um, but as I was saying, yeah, the, the Cromwell film. Although now, I think it came out in the, the 60s, so it is quite old. I was really impressed with it. I mean, the acting is very good. Unlike modern films where so much of the talking is just mumbling and you don't really understand what people are on about, it's clear and it's easy to hear. Yeah, really impressed with the film. Uh, then we've got the, the bags here. Uh, so I've just used model color bone white. And that's kind of like a, a sandy bone color. Um, so it's quite nice, especially again once you, you highlight it up later on after you put the washes over the miniatures, it really stands out nicely. I found these miniatures are quite similar to uh, the Civil War, American Civil War. Um, yeah, they came out very nicely. And having the strips where they're all next door to each other, again, does allow speed painting uh, very easily. So yeah, just take your time when you're doing the belts. Um, don't put more paint on the paintbrush than is required, and just take it easily um, as you go. The worst thing you want to do is splodge a big chunk of paint in a place you didn't want it, and then have to go back over it. Um, so yeah, just take your time. Uh, using this white, um, 
yeah, it works quite nicely to do their socks as well as all the straps. So, yeah, just take your time. Don't rush. There's no need. Again, when you've got the two strips, if you didn't want to, you could sort of limit the amount of detail you do on the backs of the front rank and the fronts of the rear rank, uh, just because you're going to see less of it, um, but painting them on the strip makes it quite easy either way. Uh, so the muskets, stocks and poles are just game colour chocolate brown again, so nice and, nice and easy. with those support poles just take your time because uh, they are quite close to the figures so you don't want to uh, blur the paint over then we do our skin tone which is Tamiya color flat flesh I mentioned it before uh, just make sure that you sort of keep it moist as you go otherwise it does have a bit of a tendency to clump but we're just doing the faces and the hands Oh, it's fine as soon as you put a bit of flesh on even though it's just that sort of first layer the miniatures start to come alive so I always like this stage now we use the homemade wash um, I have made a video on how to do it I'm not sure if that'll have been released before or after this uh, but yeah it's quite a straightforward process and just give them all a nice, good going over with the wash. What I tend to do afterwards is I'll take them outside and just give the, the sprue a good shake off just to take the excess, um, mainly because it allows it to dry quicker, but also sometimes I do go a little bit heavy with the paint and you can see it kind of pooled in areas that, uh, well, excessively pooling in areas, I should say. Um, so yeah, I was fine, just give them a good shake off, uh, works a treat. The one downside to doing them on the sprues is when you put your wash on. Um, really, I find I want the paint to run down the miniature, but if you have them on the sprue like this, although it'll run down on one of them, on the other one it'll run up. So um, I tend to find trying to get them to dry, uh, you've got to use a little bit of careful balancing and end up with them sort of yeah on the side rather than top or bottom. So after they've dried, we just do our final touch-ups and final details, and I just use the same colours that I did the first time round, and just go and pick out the whites and the flesh, uh, metalwork if it's needed, uh, whatever whatever I need to do, just use exactly the same colour. I don't go too crazy adding in extra things at this stage. Um, yeah, they're just an army at the end of the day, not specific hero figures. If I were doing commanders, then I would spend a little bit more time on them and make them a little bit more flashy. But just for your, your rank and file, there's no need. So, same colours, pick out what needs picking out, and be done. Again, with the um, rear of the front rank, front of the rear rank, at this stage, if you weren't painting them on the strips, uh, on the sprue, sorry, then I would probably, um, probably wouldn't bother. I would just leave them or only touch up the bits that uh, really stand out, which would mainly be the heads. But overall, um, I did enjoy painting these. I'm looking forward to having a good Civil War army built up. And so, yeah, can't wait. I think they've come out pretty well overall. Um, yeah, I like the figures and I like everything that goes along with them. 
And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the process and I hope you can put it to some good use yourself. Anyway, till next time, take care and keep gaming. Thanks, guys.